good morning good morning everybody and thank you sir uh, you will hear the gospel truth on npgs from uh, dr anand a little a little later uh, i have just gone through some of the literature published on npgs there is uh, there is a little paucity of uh, literature comparing an npgs directly to a primary trabeculectomy and there's not enough evidence to show either one is superior to the other so this was a systematic review and a meta meta analysis in which this group uh, looked at comparative studies of two or more surgical techniques one of which had to be a trabeculectomy in patients with open angle glaucoma and the considered interventions were trabeculectomy deep sclerectomy visco canalostomy and canaloplasty uh the primary outcome in the in this study for the authors were a uh, mean between the group difference in diurnal intraocular pressure which were at the end of 12 months was uh, about 2.22 mm 2.22 mm in favor of uh, trabeculectomy there was no difference between the the non penetrating glaucoma surgery subgroups and there was also an interesting finding of addition of mitomycin to trabeculectomy and deep sclerectomy decreased the difference in reduction in the intraocular pressure between the two groups this was very interesting uh, trab and deep sclerectomy without mitomycin the difference was 2.65 mm between the group in favor of trabeculectomy which came down to 0.83 mm with the addition of mitomycin of course as expected the absolute risk of hypotony choroidal effusion cataract flat or shallow chamber was higher in the trabeculectomy group than in the non penetrating glaucoma surgery group so it's on occasions like this where glaucoma surgeons feel whether they should go in search of a better procedure than a trabeculectomy with mitomycin where you have a bleb related end of thalamitis and also a very interesting uh, publication i found was this about post operative infection in penetrating versus non penetrating glaucoma surgery the authors this was uh, only till about 2009 but the authors said that it was very easy and it was easily available to find end of thalamitis reports with glaucoma drainage devices and trabeculectomy and they say that not a single report on infection in non penetrating glaucoma surgery in this publication and uh, possibly due to the trabeculo decimates membrane barrier that was present in the non penetrating glaucoma surgery even in the presence of mitomycin use so the disadvantage is it's not a viable option in chronic angle closure glaucoma more difficult to perform may be more costly and the authors of this meta analysis conclude that even now trabeculectomy offers excellent intraocular pressure control at long term follow up and probably now that with the advent of safe trabeculectomy and you have the option of tailoring your intra post operative intraocular pressures with minimal post operative complications probably you should look at studies where you need to compare the safe trabeculectomy technique the safety profile of this with the npgs now comes the difficult part i was uh, i was also looking at the slide that dr harsh kumar showed where mix is not even there in that slide so it's very difficult to and even um, uh, dr manish so it's very very difficult to compare mix directly to a primary trabeculectomy uh, mix has been uh, defined as there are five criteria that needs to be satisfied for the procedures that come under mix one is an ab internal procedure with minimal trauma to the conjunctiva in fact no trauma to the conjunctiva minimal trauma to the target tissue efficacy uh, at least modest extremely high safety profile and a rapid recovery with minimal impact on the quality of life there are three anatomical categories where mix are done one is the schlems canal so you have the i stent one the second generation i stent you have the hydrus canalicula stent all these are the ones that improve the trabecular outflow the third generation i stent and the cypass improve uveoscleral outflow by creating a connection between the anterior chamber and the supracoral space and you also have um, trabectome ab internal trabectome which would uh, create an alternative it's a subcongenital space creating an alternative pathway for aqueous humor 
do not include patients. It's very, very clear. Do not include patients with very advanced indications. Do not include patients with very advanced disease or patients who require very low intraocular, un unmedicated post-operative intraocular pressure. Uh, the advocates of mix say uh, comprom it com the compromise in efficacy is balanced by an ultra-low pr risk profile. Again, uh, requires a learning curve, direct gonioscopy, intraoperative manipulation of microscope in the patient head, and for some people, may probably, and uh, some glaucoma surgeons, a new angle of approach for surgeons. So available pivotal trials include uh, stent placement with all the results of stent placement with cataract extraction. We should probably be looking at patients who receive the micro bypass without cataract extraction. And then bet that would better clarify the relative contribution of the micro bypass and the cataract surgery to the intraocular pressure control. So there are multiple questions that need to be answered, whether the effect differs in the subpopulation, how many areas of bypass are maximally beneficial, whether multiple stents are better, and which one bypass approach has greater benefits than the other. Again, the models of modern glaucoma care need to be applied to mix procedures to know the cost effectiveness and quality of life studies, and the role in glaucoma treatment algorithm of mix continues to be clarified. Again, uh, just like mix, uh, there is no direct comparison, no direct comparison between a primary tube and uh, a primary trabeculectomy. The closest that came was the TVT study, but even in the TVT study had an arm which had already failed trabeculectomy. That was, that arm had already failed, uh, failed uh, one of the treatments that was uh, in the TVT study. And all what I thought would I could share is from literature and uh, from some of the published studies about the indications for doing a primary tube in favor of, uh, over uh, doing a primary trabeculectomy. So uh, glaucoma following congenital cataract surgery. So this is one group which would definitely uh, benefit from a primary tube. The risk of intraop supracordial hemorrhage uh, is minimized. In fact, any aphakic eye on medically, un aphakic eye on medically uncontrolled glaucoma is at a high risk of intraoperative uh, supracoroidal hemorrhage. So this is one area. Another group is the phacomatosis group, sturge weber syndrome. Again, choroid, intraop choroidal effusions, post-op supracoroidal hemorrhage, very common with trabeculectomy, uh, probably better served with a primary tube. Some of these uh, difficult secondary glaucomas, neovascular, uh, developmental glaucomas like accent field, Riga, aniridia, they present with uh, sky high intraocular pressures. Probably a tube is, uh, a primary tube may score over a, a primary trap. Post vitreoretinal surgery uh, group, totally scarred conjunctiva. And uh, placement of the bowel glaucoma drainage implant above or behind the pre existing encircling band is very often a successful management option for intraocular pressure control in this difficult group of refractory glaucoma, silicon oil glaucoma, and probably uh, better served with inferior drainage implants, but definitely uh, in drainage implants would probably be much better than uh, a primary trabeculectomy. There are a few other So this is another group, uh, iridocorneal endothelial syndrome. Sometimes they present with uh, flat anterior chambers, very high intraocular pressures. Um, and tubes in anterior chamber are sometimes traps and tubes in the anterior chamber are compromised by extensive uh, membrane proliferation. And this group also would uh, be probably be better served with, uh, with a tube and that too may probably a pass planar tube. Uh, to conclude, uh, any, any Intra, any eye which has undergone an intraocular procedure is a good candidate for a primary tube. Thank you very much.